I'm Annabelle Rolly for Australian Golf Digest TV. All of the greatest players throughout the history of the game have had a swing bottom that is in front of the ball. Now, what does that mean? Well, I want you to visualize a swing arc right here. So I've got the golf ball that's sitting on, on top of the turf. Here's the club coming into the impact zone. Now, all of the best players in the world, tour players, great professional golfers, good amateurs, what happens is the club enters this impact zone, it hits the ball first, and then it begins to go deeper into the turf and start the divot after the ball has been struck. Now where amateurs go wrong is the low part of the arc happens either before the ball, causing a fat shot, or at the ball, compromising contact and direction. So I want you to assess your divots, either on the range or on the course, and just by looking at them, you can get a really good understanding of whether you're entering the turf after the ball has been struck. That's what's gonna get that nice compression. And, and it's gonna be great for consistent striking and direction as well. So check your divots and then also do a drill in the bunker. So let's go over to the bunker and I'll show you exactly what I mean. So to determine where the bottom of your swing is, jump in a bunker and ideally the this, this sand would be firm and slightly wet. So this is, uh, this is exactly the conditions that I'm after today and I'm gonna draw a line like so. Now the line represents the ball. And so I'm just gonna take two swings, set up as I would to hit a full sw swing. Imagine that the ball is there and I'm gonna assess my divot in the sand because it's really easy to see exactly where the deepest part of the divot is in the sand, obviously, because it's softer. So I'm gonna do just that. Let's have a look where my low part of the swing is and see whether I hit the ball first or hit the sand first. Okay. Let's assess this divot. Now this is beautiful. This gives me so much information. As we can see, the ball, the imaginary ball was just here. Now I have hit the ball perfectly and then I can see that the widest part of the divot is about three inches or four inches in front of the golf ball and the deepest part is as well. So that's exactly what I'm looking for. Now I'll show you an example of what I don't want to see. Set up to the ball, which is the line. Let's have a look at assessing this divot. Now, remember, here is the line that represents the ball and I've hit a couple of inches behind the ball. Now this is going to result in fat contact and miss hits and certainly not going to give you any sort of distance or control. So if your divots are looking like this, you want to practice the line drill in the bunker, just you know, get in there, draw the line, take your time over each swing and, and really feel as if you're imagining that ball there and you wanna collect the ball first and then look at the divot and see if the widest, deepest part is in front of that ball. And it should be about three or four inches in front. So assess your divots on the course and jump in the bunker and try this drill. It'll really, really help you with contact, precision contact, and also distance and direction control.